Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some news, with some hot takes. I want to get into the topic right off the bat. Our guy, our coach, the general, Sean McDermott is under hot water from the Bills media. The Bills fans, who gives a damn about what we think? But yo, everybody's lit on Twitter, all social media platforms because of Sean McDermott's hot take. And the hottest take is my man talking about culture over strategy. Yo, everybody's losing their minds talking about, yo, how could you be talking about culture over strategy? Don't you need the strategy in order to build your culture? Yada, yada, here, there, and forth. Now, here's the deal. I'm not mad at the culture over the strategy. Now, for those that don't know the damn difference, let me break it to you what the difference is between what the culture that McDermott is trying to build as opposed to trying to work a strategy to accomplish something. Check this out. Culture is a way of life. It's a way people do things. It's a pattern of human knowledge, behaviors, and attitudes, values, morals, and customs. See, that's what McDermott's trying to build. He's trying to bring guys that have values and morals. When you bring that to your team, the rest fall into place. Now, there are those that say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, back it up. What about the strategy? You need a strategy. Strategy, it's a detailed plan of achieving success in all situations. War, politics, industries, and most importantly, sport. McDermott has now thrown everybody into a frenzy talking about culture or strategy. Why is he talking about culture and not talking about strategy? You need strategy to win. But he explained himself. And I, I appreciate it. If you get the guys that I morals that come to play, that do things right, that want, that have the will to win, all the other things fall into place. You now can build a strategy based on the culture you built. I get it. And I'm with it. And he's standing for it. And I'm with McDermott on this. There's a lot of hot takes that my man has put up there. But this one makes sense to me. Bring in the guys that see your vision that get your vision, that buy in, you scout, you bring the right talent, everything falls into place. You now can build a strategy that everybody's on board with. McDermott, kudos to you, man. Stick to your ground and let's go. Now, if this doesn't work out, boy, you're getting the first ticket out of Buffalo because everybody's going to be clowning your ass. But hey, we got to trust the process or we got to trust the culture. Which one is it? Now, here's the deal. Pat Mahomes is balling right now, and we can't be mad at it. Good for him. Bills fans are a little upset that we gave up on Patrick Mahomes. We have our guy. We have the Patrick Mahomes. We just got to let him sit and groom. That's the difference. Let Allen sit and groom, go through his lumps, go through his bumps, and we're good. Because after all, we are going through the rebuild. Here's another hot take from my man, Sean McDermott. I think he let it slip. I'm not sure he meant to do it, but my man let it slip. He used the word, we gotta build, we're building, or something of that nature. It's about time. I've been wanting this man to admit that we are rebuilding, but he never would say the word. He'd dance around it, the cha-cha, and never admit it. He finally admitted it. Now I can rest. Now I know. I don't got to put my hopes up. This is a rebuild. Although I always knew it, I needed my head coach to tell us all that we're rebuilding. He officially did it. So let's embrace the rebuild. Let's embrace the mistakes that Josh Allen's going to make. And let's embrace that he doesn't do it twice. Right? You got to learn from the mistakes and keep them moving. I think the mistakes that Josh Allen is making right now are very correctable. That is what the encouraging part is. He will get it. Once the game slows down, he stops trying to be the hero. I think he'll settle down into the role and really show his physical tools. Right now, he's going through it, man. Embrace the rebuild. How do you guys feel about that? The official rebuild. Does that make, does that change your mind? Are you now looking at the season differently? Keep that in mind. Now, Patrick Mahomes, the darling of the NFL. People are loving what my man Patrick Mahomes is doing. And you know what? Kudos to him. The man is balling. 
10 plus TDs. He's lighting things up. You know what I'm saying? Throwing passes with his left hand, beating Von Miller. Listen, Bills fans, we need to stop crying about that because guess what? Last year, when we gave up the, the right to grab Mahomes and trade it down for Trey Davis White, we did it for a reason. And the reason was next year's crop of QBs were better than what was happening that year. So nobody really made a fuss about it. But everyone was talking about Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Mason Rudolph. Yo, there was a slew of quarterbacks coming out. So guess what? We didn't really give a damn. We said, you know what? We'll wait till next year. We got two first round picks, two second round picks. Yo, we're doing it. We're going to get ourselves a quarterback. So I don't want to hear all that. We could have had Mahomes. Yo, get over that. We got our quarterback. We got Tredavis White. We got some picks. Now we got our ball. Let Mahomes do what he does. They got a good one. We might have a good one too. So I don't want to hear all that junk. We got the guy we wanted. Let's play. We are now one quarter into the season. Four games in. Where did you expect us to be? Did you expect us to be 4-0? Maybe finish 500, 2-2? Two two? Were we going to go winless in the first four games? I actually predicted that we might go 1-4. and four, Maybe 2-2. Two and two. We're right where a lot of people thought we would be. If you thought we were going to go 4-0, you're tripping. We're 1-4. and four. We're not exactly lighting things up, but we're not terrible. We have some potential in this team. But what did the first four games tell you about this team? I'll tell you right now. We've got work to do. We're not the same defense. We're not the same offense. I mean, hell, we lost Incognito and Wood. That significantly changes your offense. That changes your protection. We have guys that have never played the position. We have guys that are new to this team. We have guys that are giving half-ass effort. So we've got to come together, get our stuff together, get some chemistry going, and maybe we can flip this thing around. But next year, we got some money, and we got to bring the free agents here. Here's one thing I need to express. If I'm a veteran player on this Bills team, I'm upset. I'll tell you why I'm upset. I didn't come to Buffalo to rebuild. I didn't come to Buffalo to see this thing through and then I'm wasting two to three years and then now I'm a 32, 33 year old player wondering what the hell did I just waste three years for in this rebuild. So that is the disheartening part about being in this rebuild because you guys have you have guys like LaShawn McCoy, you have guys like My Micah Hyde, you have guys like Lorenzo Alexander. Those guys want to win now. They don't want to do the rebuild. That's the unfortunate part with the rebuild. I'm hoping McDermott told these guys straight up, if you come to this team, man, just know that we're going to get our young quarterback, we're going to be trying to piece things together and win. Yes, we're going to be competitive, but let's be real, we're rebuilding. And I'm hoping he was as honest to them as he was in our press conference in stating that he's building this team. Now, what y'all think about that? Am I onto something? Should these veteran players be pissed off in how this is being portrayed out into the media? Should these veteran guys feel some type of way? I didn't come here to rebuild. I came here to win and compete. We'll see how it goes down. By the way, if you guys haven't realized, we have teamed up and are the official sponsor for the boys at Trainwreck Sports. If you're not following those boys, you better do it now, man. These guys are comical. They bring you the raw sports and they're big Bills fans. So, Trainwreck Sports was good. If you guys are heading to the Bills game next week, if you guys haven't hit the hammer lock, y'all need to hit the hammer lock and get with your boy Aaron Williams. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check this out right now. And just like that, y'all need to show up to the Hammerlock and get with your boy A-Dub, a.k.a. the Killmonger. And it's about that time. It's your boy. And I'm gone. Bitch, I'm on a party like